Yo, this is it on the place. Pokemon Soul Silver. I've been training up my team a little bit for our next journey battle. You see here for Alligator, Flareon, and for us. Side to Pidgeot are now 35 and 37. So it will have still the little bitch. But I'll be keeping him for a while until I get some new stuff soon. But speaking of which, today's episode we're gonna go and battle in the new gym of Blackthorn City. Before we go though, I want to give you guys a little place in this part. Move the leader, move to Tutor's house. In Tutor's house, we can make Pokemon forget and remember moves. The reason I want to show you this is because Feralgator has changed his moveset a bit. He had HM01 cut before, but I've changed that into Slash. How do I do that though? Because how does the HM move? How can I forget that? That's what you do inside this very house. You have to move the leader in here, you can have him delete uh, even HM moves. And then at level 37, my Freligator learned Slash. We'll make it much better ready for this next coming battle. So once you're ready, go up here. We'll have this place here. Blackthorn City Pokemon Gym Leader Claire. The blessed user of Dragon Pokemon. Yeah, the Dragon types are what we're going to use today. And they are a bit hard to tough talk with. They're weak to themselves, basically. They're weak to Dragon. But they're also weak to Ice. Which is one of the reasons why I gave Avalanche to Feraligator. Let's go inside. Yo, champ in the making! The gym has unstable footing. Keep your Pokémon in their Pokéballs. Now Claire uses the mythical and sacred Dragon-type Pokémon. You can't damage them very easily. But you know, they're supposed to be weak against Ice-type moves. Okay, so we can't have our Pokémon out for this here, but that'll be fine though. This puzzle over you evolves these platforms here. If you use the arrows, you can move them. If you use the blue thing on the floor, you can turn them. So if you just do like this, and then move it back again, you can continue. Into trainers, of course. Your first battle against dragons? I'll show you how tough they are. Come on, Mr. Tough Guy, show us what good they are then. He's trainer Polo with... Dratini. That was the only Dragon-type Pokémon in Generation 1, and that's gonna be our Pokémon this time. Let's try a new Avalanche and stuff if Dratini gets the first turn. Which it does, Agility. He won't be making Avalanche stronger though, because there's even to do damage to me in order for Avalanche to do most damage. Avalanche on Dratini. Super effective. It's gonna be enough though, since it's too weak to handle a single Avalanche without boost. And that's gonna be it. Pidgeot at level 36, nice. And up now will be Dratini number 2, let's take care of it with Feraligator. Let's give it an avalanche. Now, this one also wants to do an agility to increase his speed. Apparently, it's more important than fighting a Feraligator two levels above the most ice move. Oh, well, let's avalanche this one too. Let's see if it will survive. It will not. Dratini goes down. Well done, Feraligator. Next opponent, what will it be? It's gonna be a Seedra. Seedra is actually not a dragon type, so let's get an Ampharos, because Seedra is a water type only. That's gonna make it even better for us. Let's get an Ampharos here. Loves water Pokemon. See, the evolved from a 4C Generation 1 Pokemon. Let's give it a Discharge. Brine first from Seedra. Now give it a Discharge. Let's see if Seedra will survive the Discharge. No, we won't. Ampharos is too strong. And that's gonna KO Seedra. And Ampharos and Seedra. A battle ends. That's too bad! Oh, speaking of which, our final Pokémon evolution is upcoming. Pidgeotto is becoming new, stronger, faster, more agile, more powerful. Introducing Pidgeot. Yes, now Pidgeotto is going to become much more t handleable. It's kind of interesting. Should we give Pidgeot some more power now, or should we maybe give the experience share to someone else? I think I'll do that. So let's take away the experience share from Pidgeot. Let's give it to someone else instead. Who in I uh, will think about? I'm actually gonna give it to Caesar. Or Scyther, basically. But Caesar is what he's going to be in the future. If I can make it work though. Well, anyways, I'll give the experience share now to Scyther and make have him get some XP instead. As we move on. Dragons are second Pokémon. They're full of life energy. If you're not a series, you won't be able to beat them. 
Ah, oh, we will. We will. Charged by Ace Trainer Lola. And her Pokemon will be Dratini. So 35 as well, this one. I'll just do the same tactic here and hit it with an Avalanche. So Dratini is gonna go first with Agility to boost the speed by two levels, and Fralligator will respond with an Avalanche. Not much gonna help though, little Dratini. It's gonna be a KO, and that's gonna be it for this Dratini. But this trainer has one more Pokemon. It's gonna be Dragon Air. Ooh. Dragon Air, the evolved form of Dratini. It's a bit tougher. Now, Dra Dragon Air is also just a uh, dragon Pokemon, so we'll just fly it up with a Avalanche 2. With Dragon Air, it's gonna do Agility 2. Avalanche, is, is it gonna KO Dragon Air though? Dragon Air is high level and it's an evolutional form, it has higher stats. Nope. Dragon Air survives. Here comes Dragon Rage. That's actually a dragon move. Dragon Rage is out. And here comes Avalanche. But Dragon Air's Dragon Rage is actually a special move. It's just like Sonic Boom from the Voltorbs. It does a bit static damage. So it does 40 damage all the time. And there we go. We KO the Dragon Air and this battle is over. Way to go! Oh, I think that's a positive thing. Another one of these puzzles now. First thing I'm gonna do is to move it up. I'm gonna turn it. Turn it again. No, not possible. Let's move one up more and let's turn it again. Move it to the right. That won't be enough. We need to go a bit down. Now we have to move it around. And. No, that wasn't the right thing. There we go. And there we go. Now we can continue. Our trainer awaits. It's not as with the all your dragon type Pokemon, it's more about that what that. We're interested in strong Pokemon, that's my theme. I guess this guy doesn't have dragon type Pokemon now. With Ace Trainer Cody, with two Pokemon first gonna be horsey. Cute little horsey. Cute. His eyes. Yeah, it's not a dragon type Pokemon, but it looks like a little sea dragon, so I guess that's what the theme is. You don't have to be a dragon type, you just have to be a sort of a dragon-ish build, I guess. Little horse is gonna go agility too to boost its speed. And most likely this horse is gonna outspeed fairly get it now, which it does. Oh boy, Hydro Pump! That's the uh, one of the strongest water moves in the game. Fralligator is a water type too, it's gonna be rather resistant to it. And uh, crunching down the poor little horsey. Fralligator gets more XP from this one. Next up will be Sea Dragon. So, Ampharos, I want you to come on in and enjoy the fun with this one. Frozen versus the Sea Dragon. It's gonna give it a little discharge. So that's fast at all, we'll hit first with Bubble Beam. Beam of Bubbles. Does some damage, but not too much. Here comes a discharge on Sidra. Let's see what Sidra will do with this one. Oh, it will not do anything, it's a critical hit. That means Sidra is gonna go down in a single hit. That's gonna be Stranger Cody. Just what I expected. Is that so? Well done. Let's see what your uh, girlfriend has to say. I've been training hard with Claire. There's no way I can lose. Oh, really? Are you saying that to scare me or saying that to want to fight? He's been a friend with Sidra. Okay. Sidra versus for alligator. I'll go with a crunch. Bubble beam. I don't get why there's bubble beam on the for alligator though. No? For alligator is a water type. Let's take some damage. Okay, 18 damage. Not that, that bad. Crunching. This is not more. Try to do more bubble beams on for alligator. Alligator is actually on 26 health. That's not, not much. Crunch. Oh boy, here comes the Seedra's defense drop. One chrono crunch will do it. Seedra will keep doing bubble beam to see if he actually can maybe kill for alligator with it. Oh, it's getting very close though. But the crunch with reduced defense is going to KO Seedra though. Level 38 is pretty high level. Good XP from this one too. And this battle is over. Oh, that's disappointing! Yeah, it is. 
just have one more battle to go before we can face the gym leader, though. So before we do that, let us go and uh, recover a bit of health. Let's use Super Potion. We already use Super Potion while we have it. Let's use two of them on for Alligator. So he goes back to almost full health. There we go. We'll heal the rest of the team after the next battle with this trainer. Here we go. My chance of losing? Not even 1%. Okay, then, so it's 0.9%. That means I still have 99.1% chance to lose. Okay. I'll take that. Still possible. Let's do Avalanche. Agility from the Dragonair. Dragonair is going to boost up its speed by 2. We're alligator with Avalanche on Dragonair. Dragonair will most likely survive this, but we will have another turn. Comes Avalanche again. Dragon Rage is going to do 40 damage to Fralligator. Turning it down to 68. Fralligator with Avalanche again. This time it's going to do double damage. That's going to be fine. Low health will take care of it. And Dragon Air goes down. Switch in the mic. That's odd. Yeah, where's your 1% chance to win though, huh? A little bit of a tough puzzle now, right now. This thing, uh, like this, like this, like that, and up, up, and away. Turn around, move it this way, like this, up, up, and up. And look who stands there. That is Claire. That's the gym leader, and the last gym leader we're gonna face if we beat her. We're gonna get the last badge in our journey. That's gonna give us a chance to go to the Pokemon League. So, Claire, you are gonna go down, that's for sure. Let's give up full health for the rest. Let's see, do I have anything I can do with the other things? Nah, let's do a max either, actually. It's a bit of a waste of item, though, but I do really want to have the Avalanche up. Let's give Avalanche back up here with this uh, max either. Let's see, what else can we do? I think I don't even need any TMs here. Berries. Orange berry, maybe? What is an orange berry? Let's give an orange berry to someone. Sam for us actually have. For the amulet coin. No, let's not switch. We want to keep the amulet coin for more money. Let's give the orange berry to. Yeah, we actually, we now have to remember what we do. Of course. Remember in the last episode we got the Never Melt Ice? Yeah, it's tiny time to have some use for it. Let's give the Eye of Never Melt Eyes to Feraligator, which means Feraligator's Avalanche is going to boost the damage by about 10%. But for this battle, we're actually going to start with another Pokemon than uh, Feraligator. We'll start with Ampharos. So once you're ready, go up and talk to Claire, and the last gym battle in the Yota region is about to begin. I am Claire, the world's best Dragon-type master. I can hold my own against even the Pokemon League's Elite Four. Do you still wish to take me on? Fine, let's do this! As a gym leader, I will use my full power against any opponent. I hope you will do so, because here we go, the 8th and final gym leader, Claire. We beat her, we get the Rising Badge. Oh yeah! Claire will start off with Gyarados, and that's the reason why I want to have Ampharos first in. Because Gyarados, despite the intimidating on Ampharos, has a four time weakness to Electric. One electric move on Gyarados, and that's gonna be game over. Let's go with Discharge. Gyarados with Dragon Rage, you do 40 damage on Ampharos, cutting it down to 74 health. Ampharos with Discharge, and this is gonna be a guaranteed 1 hit KO because of 4 time weakness to Electric. Goodbye, Gyarados, nice to see you. Gyarados goes down, and the next opponent from Claire, what will it be? Scyther's gonna blow, go 36. Good stats up gain. And here comes Dragon Air. Let's go in with Feraligator again because of the Avalanche. That's the reason why we gave it Never Melt Ice. Here we go. Feraligator in versus Dragon Air. Be careful though, this Dragon Air knows Thunder Wave. It can't paralyze you, but I think you maybe are ready for that. Let's go with Avalanche. Dragon Pulse. That's actually good for us. That's a Dragon type damaging move on Feraligator. 
Does some damage, but this is better because you take damage. I will do double damage in return with Avalanche. You won't survive that. 120 power Avalanche? No way. With Never Melt Dice, that's gonna be even 132 that power. <laughs> oh boy. That's the Dragonair going down. Next up is Dragonair number two. Yeah, this this trainer has two Dragonairs. We'll take a Dragonair number two as well. Same thing here, Avalanche. Another Dragon Pulse. That's good for us. Dragonair will take some damage. But here comes the Avalanche on Dragonair. Double damage, never melt ice. Oh boy, you won't survive that. And Dragonair goes down. So far, so good, but we have one more Pokemon to fight. This is not just any Pokemon we're gonna fight. Here comes Kingdra, the ultimate Pokemon of uh, Claire. Kingdra, the evolved form of Seedra, and this one has gained a new type, which of course is a Dragon type. For this one, I will start actually with Ampharos. And the reason for that is because we want to paralyze Kingdra ASAP. Kingdra versus Ampharos. One Pokemon left, this is where the real battle begins! You are sure, Kingdra is tough, because Kingdra has a sick moveset. Kingdra knows Hydro Pump, Dragon Pulse, Hyper Beam, and Smoke Screen. Smoke Screen probably the least of our concern, but the Hyper Beam is dangerous, Hydro Pump is dangerous, even Dragon Pulse is dangerous. It also contains Citrus Berry, but we know how to deal with this. Let's start off with Thunder Wave to get it paralyzed. Kingdra with Hydro Pump, the powerful water move. Will Ampharos survive though? Let us see. It's a oh wow, that's unfortunate. That is bad luck. We get a critical hit for Hydro Pump. That is bad luck, but that's fine. We can move on. Pidgeot, I will take you next. Yo, you look so beautiful now. You know the Twister, which is a powerful Dragon move, but I actually want to do Sun Attack here first. Hydro Pump misses, luckily. From Sun Attack, which means accuracy of Kingdra is gonna go down. That's what I want to do. You want to make sure his moves are going to miss, which will make this even better. Kingdra with smoke screen. But Pidgeot has his keen eye ability, which means Pidgeot cannot get his accuracy reduced. So Kingdra, I hope you continue using smoke screens. But it's gonna use a hydro pump. Two side attacks doesn't really help. Here comes the hydro pump from Kingdra with a KO Pidgeot. No, Pidgeot survives. Here comes another side attack to reduce his accuracy further. I think that's gonna be it. Let's try the Twister from Pidgeot. Call the Dragon Pulse, which will hit, unfortunately. That means Pidgeot is gonna go down, but you did a good sacrifice there to put up the Curious Reduction on Kingdra. We can move on. I'm gonna be going with Scyther now. Scyther, my Kingpin. Let us go with you. You have some cool moves, not the very strongest ones, but you have some strong attacks for sure. You can go with Wing Attack. Hydro Pump, will miss. Started with Wing Attack on Kingdra. That's respectable damage, actually. Good power by Scyther. Let's do another one. Hydro Pump will hit this time. Will Scyther survive the Hydro Pump? Let us see. Oh, he does. Scyther survives with Wing Attack, attack number two. Oh, that's a good damage there, but Kingdra is going to recover with the Citrus Berry putting it back to about half health. But do remember that this Kingdra might also have enough for a Hyper Potion from Claire. It's not a wing attack. Dragon Pulse. That will most likely KO Scyther, unfortunately. It will. Unfortunate, but nothing we can do about it. Let's get in Sudowoodo now. The reason for Sudowoodo in here is because I want to have Sudowoodo to sacrifice himself to revive Ampharos. We need that paralyzing up on Kingdra to make this even easier. Let's go up with Ampharos, recover. If Sudowoodo survives, let's see. Dragon Pulse. No, that bomb is going to be a KO. He's 15 levels below. He's going to get KO by Dragon Pulse for sure. Yeah. Not much to do about that. If we have another Pokemon to use, we can go with Flareon. So Flareon in versus Kingdra. He has some good moves, including the Sand Attack. Ember won't do much here, because uh, Kingdra is double resistant to fire. Sansa can really do well if we want to reduce the curse further, but I think we're going to be fine for now. More importantly, we want to recover the health of Ampharos. I'm going to take no risks here. Let's go Hyper Potion on Ampharos to make sure it's going to go back to full health, so we can switch it in. 
You can do it with Dragon Pulse, but it's gonna miss. Oh well, let's go with Sun Attack then instead. Dragon Pulse again, but it's gonna miss again. Sun Attack again. This means Kingdra is down with 4 levels reduction of accuracy. Now I'm gonna respond with a Bite. Dragon Pulse misses again for the third time, Flareon with Bite. You're kidding, right? I'm supposed to win. I already decided. You can't decide how to win here. You need to battle to win. Hyper Beam is gonna miss too. Bite on Kingdra. If I do one more bite now, this is actually going to recover Kingdra to full health, but we don't have any way to counter that. Here comes Hyper Beam. That is going to KO Flareon. No, Flareon actually survives. Flareon is too tough to survive. Oh, we went down the red level. Kingdra must recharge. And Flareon chaos Kingdra! Amazing! And Ampharos switch XP with Flareon. And we've beaten Claire. I lost? I don't believe it. There must be some mistake. What do you mean by mistake? I won't concede this. I might have lost, but you still are ready for the Pokemon League. I know. You should take the Dragon Master Challenge! Behind this gym is a place called Dragon's Den. There's a small shrine at his heart. Go there. If you can prove that you've lost your lazy ideals, I'll admit you're a trainer worthy of a gym match. Wow, wow, wow. What is this, Claire? You lost and you're not gonna give me a badge? Huh. Oh well. Not much you can do about that, but let's just do the Dragon Master Challenge. Of course, we'll do that in the next episode. Next episode, we're gonna do the Dragon Master Challenge. We're gonna get that badge, so we can call ourselves the Masters. Pokemon, Picnic, Liz, what do you want? Huh. You called the wrong number. What a person. Oh well, next episode, let's go to our Dragon Master Challenge. Dragon Master Challenge is up in the Dragon Shrine north of the gym. You can surf the way up here. We go there, and then we're going to get the badge, that's for sure. Like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Twitch, and Facebook, and that's it for now, so I'll see you guys next time as my story of Pokemon Soul Silver continues.